As kids return to indoor classrooms and colder weather increases indoor activities uh, really for everyone, research into the way ventilation systems can help or hurt us when it comes to COVID-19 become pretty important. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new study looking at that very issue, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin. So researchers at the University of Cambridge in the UK published a study in the Journal of Fluid Mechanics looking at the effect of ventilation on the indoor spread of COVID-19. They concluded that many modern office buildings may increase the risk of exposure to the virus. Evidence has increasingly shown that COVID-19 is spread through larger droplets and tiny aerosols that are expelled when we breathe, talk, laugh, cough, or sneeze. The smallest aerosols can remain suspended in the air and travel significant distances indoors. Many indoor heating and cooling systems have been designed to maximize energy efficiency, leading to decreased exchange with fresh outdoor air. The very design of many ventilation systems can also contribute to contaminated aerosols staying in a room. Often, in an office, both the air inlets and vents are at ceiling level. This mixes the air in a room, but doesn't necessarily remove aerosols well, causing longer exposure times. Ventilation systems where the vents are at floor level and the return air intakes are at ceiling height, the way most homes in the U.S. with central air are designed, are more likely to extract contaminated aerosols because it takes advantage of the fact that much of our breath, which is warmer than room temperature, will rise and be removed from the room. Whenever possible, bringing in fresh outdoor air is the quickest way to reduce the concentration of any aerosols. Now, the researchers actually did a much more detailed analysis looking at the effect of opening and closing doors and even the amount of air movement that's caused by the wake that we leave behind when we walk through a space. The bottom line, though, is that keeping windows open and wearing a mask was really their best advice. So, Dr. McGeorge, then what can people who work in an office that might not have the best ventilation system do? Well, so in line with what they said, weather permitting, if you have access to a window, you should open it or at least crack it to allow some fresh air in. Universal mask use, of course, is now more important than ever, especially in poorly ventilated and closed spaces to generally minimize contamination. But that's really about all that you have control of. Yeah, really. Something else to consider. Okay. Thanks, Doc.